continuar o nosso, as nossas, é, nossos relatos de projeção astral. Né? Let's continue our reports about astral projection. Eu vejo várias pessoas que... I know several people who can do this work. I believe that if you seek this knowledge, it helps you to change your own life. You have to expand and leave those beliefs, conditionings, those very closed things that don't take us to the truth. We don't know what the truth is. We have to take off all the masks that we have put on ourselves and then we'll find something that maybe we have difficulty to accept and change. But I see it's a good idea when we seek spirituality to have a greater breadth of knowledge. Not a closed spirituality that one others write about. I think you have to learn some things, question them, and make sure if it's worth or not. I think we feel when the information that comes is real, is good, or it's not convenient. So we have to learn this. I even care too much about what I say. Sometimes I don't say some things, because everyone has the right to accept or not. This is part of our lives. I'm going to make a projection report about a time that was great for me. I'll repeat it again. I have already told this before. I was living in Veleros. In Veleros, I had hundreds of astral projection experiences. I was always in that process. My father practiced yoga and he could have a very good relaxation. He looked like a dead man. In fact, when we looked at him, it was very impressing. One day he went to his room and left the bedroom door slightly open. He lay down in bed and took a deep breath. I kept looking and said, wow, that's impressive. I saw a lot of energy and I spoke to him about what he was doing. Look, I'm taking a deep breath. And he told me what was happening. The muscles, feet, legs, abdomen and even the head were all loosening. He described it with such a good rhetoric because he was a Portuguese teacher. So he was saying exactly what he was thinking. That was very good. When he reported it to me, I said, wow, I need to learn how to do this. I asked him if he could teach me and he said he would teach me. He taught me how to breathe and that was good. I kept doing this deep breathing in my bedroom every night. I felt my body getting better because I had a lot of astral projections without having a notion of the need to have a technique, a process that helps. So that was a good thing. Then, having this technique, this breathing, I lay down, relaxed, I felt all the signs. There were days that I felt nothing, I went to the place I had already been. But most of the time I felt all the signs, that buzzing, the body was very stiff, apparently it's stiff, as if you were hard. I heard a crack, sometimes a blow, left the body and floated. One of those times that I got out of the body, I was moving in the house looking at everything inside it. In my house, there was a small altar. It was a Japanese altar. These altars that are placed by some religions. I believe that Shinkenko Kaikai puts 
the Messianic Church too. There are several churches that put ancestor altars. And my mother had an ancestor altar too. I was floating inside the house. When I looked at this altar, my mother was in front of it in spiritual body. Look how we do things. And she was praying. I kept looking at it and I was kind of impressed because she was looking at it and around her I saw some. I used to call cellophanes because they were transparent figures that I could not determine who they were. But I knew there was something, there was a spirit there. I kept looking at it and I approached very slowly. When I arrived, there was a room, the altar and the door. This door led to the side of the altar. As I approached the door, my mother turned her face to me, she looked at me, went back to the altar and continued to pray. I was impressed by her gesture because that was really memorable for me. My own mother was there by the altar in astral body. I didn't know if she, because I intentionally did that. My experience was intentional. I kept writing down on a paper, looking for information about the subject, looking for places where they had it. I was like that, and then, okay, I saw that, I left it, I lost consciousness and woke up in my body. When I woke up, I immediately wrote it down. When I was writing it down, my mother turned the light on in her room, because I saw the light being lit. She left her bedroom, came to my room and said, you were watching me. Then I said, how was I watching you, mother? She answered, yes, you were watching me. I didn't get if she had dreamt about it and that moment I couldn't ask. First, because I didn't want to forget the things I had to write. Second, because I felt in a very restricted space. I had to explain what I was doing and that wasn't a very nice thing. Later, I discovered that she had this capacity, this perception. This experience was very good for me, because even the person who doesn't have astral projections, I concluded that time we all leave the body at night. Even if it's a little disconnection, we need it, in order to capture energy, to revitalize, recover and reorganize ourselves. Maybe you can't get out of the body for some reason. Even due to beliefs you may not do it, but I think most people have to. Sooner or later, there's no other way. So, this was an interesting experience I had that remained in my story, and it's good to remember. These memories are really part of everything I am and have been through. They help me to continue too. Everything we do has to be a plus in our lives. There are many things that are not good or happy, that make us feel sorrow. Sometimes we get upset, angry at someone. These things do not add up. What counts is what we do to move a step forward, to be better. One more story for us to enjoy together. I am a person who has searched a lot about spirituality, so that I can present myself with a little knowledge and maybe this knowledge is worth for other people too. You can find our website address in the description of this video. 
você pode desse site você vai encontrar o nosso On this website you can find our online shop. There are hundreds of CDs about this subject. You will like them. Nós temos programas de rádio We have radio programs that are free and you can listen to them. Assistir tem os cursos, as palestras, todo o trabalho que a gente faz e se você quiser participar do There are courses, lectures and all the work we do. If you want to participate, come and join us. Every day we have laying on of hands, you can also join. Get in touch with us and we'll tell you how we're doing it. It's at a certain time so that we can truly exercise our knowledge. Then, you participate. If you want to know and understand more, for example, how laying on of hands works, you can access our content. Learn about laying on of hands. We have a short course about it. You can learn how much you can benefit from it and also help people around us. You can find our website address in the description of this video. We will continue doing our work with you following and helping us. Would you like to participate in a work of energy giving from afar that is benefiting thousands of people? Click on the link below for more information.